So for those of you that follow the Tweaker Garage channel, you may remember the 72 Commando we built for Keith. Well, he's had that thing for a little over a year now and had the chance to get it out on the trails. Now, this hasn't been without issue. We did run into one little hiccup in sand hall. So here we are out in the country and these are the Jeeps. It looks like we made a stop to have some fun, but we're actually working. There's an operation going on. There's the operating room. Doctor is in there. He's got uh, a couple assistants, and you can hear them working on the patient. But we got it repaired on the trail, and he was able to finish the trip. And to say that Keith hasn't fallen in love with this thing might just be an understatement. So the other day over some Coronas, Keith says to me, you know, Scott, I really enjoy hanging out with the guys, but I feel like I want to do some improvements to the Jeep. Like, I know my Jeep is way cooler than Bart's, but I want it to go most places his Jeep will go. What do you think we should do? So the other day, Keith and his wife, Carol, were having martinis. And Carol said to Keith, you know, Keith, we need to get rid of these little 33s and get some real tires. I'm thinking 37s. What do you think? He said, I agree. Let me talk to Scott. So to do a proof of concept, we found some junk 37-inch wheels and tires off Facebook Marketplace and bolted them up just to see how they fit. Not too bad. And we decided to stay spring under on this build, which I know is going to drive some of you guys crazy. But those Alcan springs work pretty damn good. They have a lot of flex. And then Ron from the internet got in touch with me and said there's no problem fitting 40s on these Commandos spring under. And his Jeep is proof of that. And if there's one thing I know, you can always trust Ron on the internet. So that's how we're going to move forward with this build. Over a couple of Modelos the other night, we got talking about wheels. I says, Keith, if we're going to do this right, we really need to find some beadlocks. Keith agreed. And you remember how difficult it was finding a good set of wheels that match that rig. It really has to capture the essence. So we went to work. And I ended up finding a set of race lines in Barstow. Usually I go to Barstow for my crack. But I found a guy in Utah that was on his way to the King of the Hammers, and he'd meet us there. So we're off. All right, I'm in Barstow. I hear you can get some good crack cocaine here, so we're gonna wander around and see if we can find anybody. May as well get some crack at Barstow, win in Rome, right? Here's a guy that looks like he wants to sell some crack. Huh? Hey, you guys got any crack? Right on. My truck's right there. You guys want to pull forward? Just move over. Right Sounds on. great. All right, we scored. Got ourselves some. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. So Keith and I were grabbing a beer over the weekend. It turns out Keith likes to drink beer, and he brings up the axles. I told him to stay spring under. We probably want to find an old Jeep axle. I know a guy out in the desert that has a J10 Dana 44 that would probably work nice for us. And from what I hear, it's in real nice shape. Won't need a lot of work. So Keith and I are having mimosas last Sunday, and I said to Keith, I think it'd be a good idea to switch out the outers on this axle, convert it to five on, five and a half, pick up an IRB locker, and some chromoly axle shafts. Keith thought about it for a second and said, that sounds like a great idea. Keith and I were having a glass of wine the other night and got talking about the rear axle. 
I told him we should probably pick one up that's wider, something that'll match that front axle we just bought. He said, makes sense. Was throwing back some Pacificos the other night and got talking about the steering. Keith was telling me how crappy the stock steering is on it, and I agree. I told him we should probably go with a hydro assist from PSC. Keith loved the idea. I spent a whiskey with Keith the other night and we got talking about the axles again. I said, you know, Keith, going from 33s to 37s is a big deal. We should probably rig gear the axles. Keith said, absolutely. So over Margarita's the other night, we got talking about that column shifter, and I told him that really wasn't the great for rock crawling. Told him we should maybe get a gated shifter and ditch that stock transfer case shifter for something like a twin stick. Keith agreed. So over Bloody Mary's the other morning, we got talking about the wider axles. I said, Keith, we're going to have to pick up some bracketry because we need to outboard those wider axles. Keith said, I'm right on it. So Keith and I are having a Coke the other day. What, you think we're drunks? Anyway, I said, hey, Keith, there's going to be a bunch of other stuff we're going to need, stuff we're not even thinking of. And he says, you know, I understand. So Keith and I are out having beers the other day, and he says, Scott, do you still work for Pacificos? And I said, absolutely. He says, well, I got a case in the car. And I says, right on. Let's go get started. So there she sits, waiting for her new parts. Please like and subscribe to follow the build on YouTube. And no, no crack was bought, sold, or smoked in the making of this video. We look forward to seeing it out on the trail real soon.